Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Okami HD Episode 6. I'm your host, Ult Director Jester. And last we left off, Madame Fawn told us where to go find the Guardian Sapling to restore Agatha Forest, but luckily I know exactly where it is because she gives only vague information, I get results. Then also I just my experience, but it's not that hard to find really. But anyway. Yeah. Hey with them. Camera angle changes because the controls mess up on you. I've always hated fixed camera angles. Okay, we'll go ahead and bomb this wall. And oh! There it is! There's the Guardian Sapling. That wasn't that hard to find at all. I wasted 500 yen for nothing. Well, a bloom sequence will uh, cheer me up, I'm sure. Something pure and relaxing about it. Just the ultimate gaming zen. Well, uh, here we get something fun to play with a brand new weapon. in here are awesome. You have, th you have uh, three different types. Uh, you have reflectors, which act as shields as a sub-weapon. You have rosaries, my favorite weapon, that give rapid attacks as a main weapon, and they shoot out projectiles as a sub-weapon. And you have a third weapon type, which we'll get to later on. Yeah, I know. So, we'll go ahead and equip the rosary as our main weapon, the reflector as our sub-weapon, because it'll come in handy for the next fight coming up here soon. We'll return to Sakiya's tree later on. We'll end up back at Kamiki Village pretty soon. Go ahead and feed these rabbits here. I guess a bit of extra praise. Yep. And a clover back here for a little more praise. Once the blooming works, I hate blooming sometimes. It's the most panic me out of all the brush techniques, I think. So if I keep messing up, I'm sorry. I'm just not very good at it. Alright, now we can actually explore the forest a little bit. Or not. Master of Tao Magic and Supreme Swordsmanship, it's Ushiwaka, or in this translation it's been shortened to Waka. He is based on Minamoto no Yoshitsune, a general of the Minamoto clan in the late 1100s and a very famous figure in Japanese history. 
His appearance is inspired by the Tengu Demon, where Yoshitsune was believed to have learned his fearsome technique, and also from Tatsunoko's Gacha Man. Jar reference. Devil May Cry reference. Alright, Waka is a pretty difficult boss, especially the first time around. The field is different because there's water everywhere, so you don't have free rain like you used to. Waka, you can just do whatever the fuck he wants. It's good to utilize your shield when you can because his attacks are frequent and they do hurt. So, this is a good time to get used to the combat if you haven't figured it out already. It's being relatively easy on me this time. Oh my god, it's protecting me. Oh, shit. Well, you're not shit in the water. You're pretty much vulnerable to any attack. Shit. Oh, he's vulnerable, so you can suck just like that. And. Okay, that was much easier than I thought it was. It's the power of the rosaries. I like how the forest decays at the very mention of his name. Even though we say it frequently in conversation, but no one seems to mind. Yes, <laughs> yes, 
We made it through, we broke 10,000 yen, things are looking up. And we got a trophy too. Well, uh, let's let's explore around here for a bit. I think I'm gonna dig right here first. Huh. Steel Soul Sake. That temporarily increases your defense, I don't think we'll be using too much of it though. Huh. What's up with this guy? Hmm, the sun's missing, is it? We'll get to that a little bit later. Why don't we uh, talk to this guy first? Let's see what kind of stuff we can get. Yeah, gold dust. I should explain this too. Oh, whoops. Let me, uh, let me explain gold dust. Gold dust will unleash the potential of weapons. It will make your weapons more powerful. I say we go ahead and use that on our rosary. Then we'll be unstoppable for the next little while. I get a huge boost in combat. I think it'd be a good idea if I got some holy bones too. Get a little bit of insurance. Always good to be safe. Even if you've done this game 10,000 times like I have, it never helps. It never helps to be careless. So, uh, yeah, let's go find this loser's son. And I think I see him over there. Wow, you really aren't looking that far that hard for him, are you? And, oh, looks like he's not doing so good. What's up, man? This is Kokari. He lives in Akata Forest and likes to fish. He isn't based on anyone in particular, but we'll be seeing him a few times. Yeah. 
Oh, enlighten me. Why do you not have a line? Yeah, that guy do everything, eh? Well, this gets to one of my... Not, not my favorite minigame, but the fishing. It is going to probably consume your life if you're looking for the platinum. What you do is you go ahead and pull, draw a line to a fish. It automatically locks onto a fish. The idea is... You gotta push the control stick opposite way he's going without going overboard, and then press whatever button appears, and then slash that asshole, and then there's your fish. You have to you have to get all types of fish across four separate fishing spots the entire game, and there are a lot of goddamn fish. It is not fun. But right now it's fun, right? It's all about attitude. You gotta think about fun, fun. That's right, we're just fishing right now without the terrible grinding we have to do later on. Right now we just got three fish to worry about. Two small bogus to get you warmed up. And then the one guy we're looking for. This guy's the big one. This guy isn't like ordinary large fish because he only takes one slash. Other larger fish can take up to three. And they get a lot harder to deal with too. Sometimes you have a lot less stamina to work with too. Fishing's fun! Try it! It looks like an onion.
So now he's pissed at me and he's gonna try to hit me. And well, you know what? Screw you, kid. Let's head over to those ruins. By the way, you can blow these little guys and they usually have some cool stuff inside. Like, oh, look at that! A wooden bear! That's neat. An exorcism slip. That destroy that uh, damages demon scrolls. Well, let's see. Where did we go? Ah, right there. Okay. Let's feed these deer first. Okay, they liked herbs. Didn't know they were so picky. Gets us a nice chunk of praise, especially for animals. Oh, hi, Susan. What are you doing here, buddy? all you. I'm gonna go explore some ruins. You have fun swinging your little stick around. Oh look, we're there to be. And next time, on Okami HD, we'll be exploring the depths of the dreaded Suta Ruins. We'll see you next time.